Welcome everyone to this video by Learn Civil Engineering, where we'll be working through an example problem for the pressure distribution within a continuously stratified liquid and then a step stratified liquid. This video follows on from concepts learned in the previous video on absolute and gorge pressure. So if you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out if you want to know the background theory before attempting these questions. Moving on to the first example problem then for continuous stratification. Water in a reservoir has uniform depth h0 and is stratified with the density distribution rho at a height of z equals rho0 plus rho s minus rho0 divided by h0 times by z. The z is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to h0. Where the z coordinate is directed vertically upwards with z equals 0 at the base of the reservoir and rho naught and rho s denoting the density at z equals 0 and z equals h naught respectively. Find the absolute pressure distribution for the water in the reservoir and then, if rho naught equals 1150 kilograms per meter cubed, rho s equals 1000 kilograms per meter cubed, and h naught equals 12 meters, find the absolute pressure at the point z equals 0.25 h naught. Pause the video here if you'd like to attempt this question yourself before we go through the solution. So then, here we will use the equation for pressure distribution derived in a previous video, where dp by dz equals minus rho with respect to height z times by g. Substituting the density distribution defined above, we get that this is equal to minus rho naught plus rho s minus rho naught divided by h naught times by z, all times by g. And we will use the boundary condition p equals pa at z equals h naught. Integrating the pressure distribution above gives the integral of dp by dz with respect to z equals minus g times the integral of rho naught plus rho s minus rho naught divided by h naught times by z with respect to z. This results with p at a height of z equals some constant k minus g times rho naught z plus rho s minus rho naught divided by h naught times by z squared divided by 2. Then, applying the boundary condition p equals pa at z equals h naught gives pa equals k minus g times by rho naught h naught plus rho s minus rho naught divided by h naught times by h naught squared divided by 2, which results in k equals pa plus half rho s plus rho naught times by g h naught. Then substituting the expression for k into the pressure distribution gives p at a height of z equals pa plus half times rho s plus rho naught times g h naught minus g times rho naught z plus rho s minus rho naught divided by 2 h naught times by z squared, which is valid for z is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to h naught. This then is the absolute pressure distribution for the water in the reservoir. Finally, we can substitute the values given for rho naught, rho s and h naught to find the absolute pressure at z equals 0.25 h naught, which is equal to the height of 3 meters from the base of the reservoir. Using Pa is approximately equal to 101 kilopascals, we get P equals 101,000 plus 1 half times 2,150 times by 9.81 times by 12 minus 9.81 times by 1150 times 3 plus minus 150 divided by 24 times by 3 squared. Therefore, P equals 194 kilopascals at a height of 3 meters in the reservoir. For the second example, we are looking at step stratification. A reservoir of uniform depth h0 contains a two-layer mixture of oil and water, with respective densities rho naught and rho is greater than rho naught, which can be seen in the diagram. Using the information provided in the diagram, 
find the gorge pressure distribution within the liquid mixture in terms of the vertical depth h, where h equals 0 is at the free surface. And then, if h0 equals 10 meters, rho0 equals 800 kilograms per meter cubed, and rho equals 1000 kilograms per meter cubed, find the pressure at the mid depth. Again, if you would like to attempt this question yourself before we go through the solution, you can pause the video here. In the last example, we are working in terms of Z, the height from the base of the reservoir. However, now we are working in terms of H, the depth from the free surface of the reservoir. Therefore, we will use the equation for pressure distribution, where dP by dH equals rho G. Since the free surface boundary condition applies to the oil layer, we must start by calculating the pressure distribution in the oil. Therefore, the pressure distribution becomes dP by dH equals rho naught G. Integrating this with respect to H, like we integrated in the previous question with respect to Z, results in P at a depth of H equals some constant K plus rho naught G H. And then the application of the boundary condition of P equals zero at H equals zero results in K equals zero. Therefore, within the oil layer, P at a depth of H equals rho naught G H, for H is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one third H naught. We can now calculate the pressure distribution in the water layer, which is dP by dH equals rho G. Again, integrating like we did before, but with respect to H, gives P at a depth of H equals some constant K plus rho G H. As the pressure must be continuous across the interface between the oil and the water, the required boundary condition for the water is that at h equals one third h naught, p equals one third rho naught g h naught. This gives one third rho naught g h naught equals k plus one third rho g h naught, which results in k equals one third times by rho naught minus rho times by g h naught. Hence, within the water layer, the pressure at a depth of h is equal to one third times by rho naught minus rho times by g h naught plus rho g h. For h is greater than or equal to one third h naught and less than or equal to h naught. A convenient way of summarizing the pressure distribution across the entire depth of the reservoir is P at a depth of h equals rho naught g h for h is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one third h naught and then one third times by rho naught minus rho times by g h naught plus rho g h for h is greater than or equal to one third h naught and less than or equal to h naught. To finish then, with h naught equals 10 meters, rho naught equals 800 kilograms per meter cubed, and rho equals 1000 kilograms per meter cubed, the pressure at the mid depth where h equals half h naught is clearly within the water layer. Hence, the pressure at the mid depth is P equals one third times by 800 minus 1000 times by 9.81 times by 10 plus 1000 times 9.81 times by 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 42.5 kilopascals. Well done then if you got both of those correct. If you don't totally understand the solutions to these problems, I have previous videos covering the theory leading up to these problems with specific examples for each. This has been a lecture by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this lecture useful at all, please show support by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. If you do have any remaining questions or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.